Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas, and I am joined by Christian and Anna. What Good up? evening. So what is the Siege Fracas? What, what is that? Which thing is this? Target Master. Fracas. Oh, okay. Target Master friend. For... Who's asking immediately about Fracas? Oh, Randall. Randall. Nice, here he is. Boom. There you go. Yeah, Uncle Scourge has a, he has a friend. I, I don't think of these guys like past the movie, so. Oh, poor guys. I recently saw the totally amazing mini series that introduces the Target Masters, and it was utterly Season bonkers four. and made no oh, sense. Oh, it's so great. Rebirth, <laughs> man. Oh my goodness, that was so incoherent. It was so like, it was so fun to see that and just be like, wow. <laughs> okay, so since we're already off topic, Serge yep. and I had a theory that involves these target masters. And it's for tomorrow, so we're going to go ahead and call it. I'm going to call it from him and myself. You know that Galvatron Unicron pack that's up? That's not up, but got a listing. It's like yes. $80 in American, and it comes with a Galvatron, which is 50 What's that other $30? We think it's a, another accessory pack. So, like, it'll include some ships and stands for big old Unicron. And I think it'll also come with, like, Nightstick and Haywire and uh, Recoil. That's a yeah. devious way to make me buy Galvatron. I don't even want I think want it'll be, it. like, half, half scan Megatron. And then it'll come with accessories for Unicron and uh, some Battle Masters. So that's our call for tomorrow for the reveals. Is the Galvatron, isn't it it's, uh, supposedly the uh, Armada Galvatron? Or uh, Energon, you think about the, the Cybertron one. And that was a one. different listing, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, oh, that could be... Are they going to make me buy a Galvatron... Okay, so I'm going to have to get the $80 one that doesn't have the space mud on it. Is that pretty much the deal? Unless, well, the $80 one should, okay, if I'm right, and who knows if I am, but it'll be uh, half scan or half half reformat. Well, what about the toy one? Is that selects? I think the toy one is in selects. Okay. Wow, we're guest planet right now. There you go. I mean, we have there's my, there's tomorrow, my call for so tomorrow. Of course, we're Guest Planet. But tonight is not Galvatron night because he hasn't been released yet. He did finally get revealed. Tonight is actually his best friend Scourge night. Ooh. Are they best friends? Because Scourge totally, totally betrays him and turns into a blob. Yeah, it's more like Cyclonus is the best friend, I guess. Cyclonus seems to be the BFF. They, they like. They definitely went to high school together. He's been following him since then loyally. But everyone loves Cyclonus. So Cyclonus Especially has... since he got a boyfriend. Yeah, better incarnations. So but I'll get distracted it's... to talk about cartoons all night because I've been watching Transformers <laughs> on the Twitch stream. So let's we'll talk get... about the figure. One, yeah. one thing I think is funny about this uh, figure is... is like Rick was complaining about the fact that it's like $30 and they pack two uh, Rodimuses and, and one scourge in a case. Right. <clears throat> so then it's like harder for him to buy like a hundred of these things. Like, like uh, what he did yeah. with uh, the um, Titans return. You could probably scourge. wait and get the actual sweeps that will be revealed tomorrow. Yeah. True. So, Okay, first things first. Lucas has his in alt mode. Let's start with the alt mode. Friends, his alt mode is a boat, right? Right? Friends no, of the, no. in the chat? It's, it's actually boat. just a spaceship. Spaceship. He's a boat. This is, this is the underside. It actually cleans up fairly well. I mean, you can yeah, see that he no, has legs, but like, it's not egregious or not anything. Horrible. He can be he can be a space boat if you would like, but he's a boat. And his head can do the the head thing that it always does in vehicle mode, which is great. It's very funny. I like it. It's such a dumb thing in the movie, and I don't know if it was like scripted that way or someone was just like, "Hey, let's 
do that with the toy and, and then see what we can put in the movie. I don't know. It's hilarious. And Make now you can do it with every toy. Make his head pop out, Lucas. There it is. Yay. Yay. Mm. Yes, it's very silly, and that's fun. You know, that's one of the first things I did when I got him into boat mode, too. I, mean, I was you gotta, like, his head needs to come out. Obviously. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, it's very amusing. But yeah, yeah, he looks really good in boat mode. Like, you know, I, I was talking to you all before, and I think it's actually on the floor beside me if I reached down and grabbed it. But um, I was talking to you all before how I actually really like the old um, generations whenever the mm-hmm. Spurs came out because I didn't get him originally. Yeah. I got him later. I still really like that one, but that one did not have spaceboat alt mode. You know, it, it, it didn't. It had have... a cool flying wing. I mean, good flying wing stealth bomber thing. And for the time when they were. They, the philosophy was to reimagine them into updated forms. It's fantastic. I really do like that figure. No, it's not. This one's better, but I like that one too. Yeah, I think that's, I think that toy's really good. I like both of them. I don't know. I mean, I I like the Titans Return one at the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like. I didn't like that one. Know. Obviously, this one is is much better. So I think really my better. only complaint is is like I. I don't know. It annoys me where like the gun storage is like there's one gun and it's on one side. Like I I don't like that, but I mean that's really like that's the only complaint I can really come up with this. I'm finding a lot of the recent vehicle transformers, when you put the guns on them, they don't look good. Like I feel like Hot Rod's guns look silly on them. It's a His characteristic of the them. studio series stuff, even from before yeah. they did eighty six stuff. Okay. They come with all their things, but to make their vehicle modes more realistic, they don't have places to put them. Right. That makes perfect it's, it's, sense. It's a choice if they want to make them screen accurate. And uh, it's a choice I'm mostly comfortable living with. But like Lucas said, it's a little bit obnoxious. Yeah, it makes you want to It makes you want to store the gun instead right. of putting it on them, which means I'll lose it, which... Uh, no, I don't need to do doing that. But yeah, I I would actually say that this is better than the Masterpiece version just because I don't want to throw it out the window whenever I transform it. Like, if you ever transform the X-Transbots, is it Andrus? I think it's Andrus. Whatever that is. Andrus is one of them. Oh my god. It's like, the feet, like, the majority of it is fine. The feet are just, oh my god, I just, I hate it so much. Anyway. No, that, I mean, it's good to kind of know because, like, I'm not a huge Scourge fan, but for me, you know, this one is definitely good enough. I don't feel like I need to be, I'm not waiting for the next Scourge. Like, I'm not, I don't even care when the next Scourge comes out. This is fine. <laughs> you, Rob, you know that I'm just <laughs> doing this because you're on the stream, right? Like, th- like, I probably wouldn't have even brought it up if it wasn't for Rob sitting here talking about how he loves the Titans Return version of this. Hey! Wait, the Titans Returns? Did, I thought he said he liked the, the good one better. No, he, he did say I, TR. I love the gross. TR toy. I thought Rob and I had the same taste. We don't. Uh, mm. the, yeah, the, yeah. the Hasbro one was not very well painted, but if you got the LG version, the paint yeah, on the that LG is Yeah, the LG version is pretty good, yeah. I had Probably. that out the other day. I'm sure it is. I just, I really like the old one, the old Generations guy. He was cool. And I'm keeping yeah, it, no, but we'll I'm get saying. to that later. Yeah, you have it on your, in your picture. I just now noticed. Yeah, mine may leave. Duh. Which, uh, yeah. what may leave? My Generation Scourge. Oh, yeah. And then I was like, Sticky well, I'll keep that mold as devcon because i have that but now we've seen that there's a leaked image of this mold as devcon so it's like well but was that a legit i I thought that that got someone's claiming that's a photoshop so just be on the i mean i'm sure that just yet we probably will get a devcon from it you know just because i feel like we've been getting all those things but yeah depending on how much work they do to make the sweeps i figure we'll get a devcon Which would be great. DevCon's awesome. Yeah, it's fine. He's like somehow less obscure than most of the obscure stuff we've been getting lately. So I feel like he, he got an episode. 
Right. And then he went all emo in uh, the BotCon comics because Glenn forgot what his personality was in that episode. Uh, that sounds he about murdered right. his little friend. Oh. And then he murdered a bunch of the wreckers. Super sad. Yeah, Death Con, the murderer. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. Anyway, yes, we're talking it's about Scourge, Scourge, the other murderer. The he other also murderer. Will kill people. He will. He's the huntsman. Yes, not a nice fella. Not a nice fella. So Christian Soldier is robot have mode. An immaculate beard. Yes, yeah, the, the skull. space so sculpt good. is amazing. Such a good head sculpt. And I know that's like a Hallmark of Studio Series stuff, but like 86 is still relatively new to Studio Series, so it's nice to see these animation accurate head sculpts like that. They're so terribly, tremendously accurate. Love and it. some of the recent head sculpts have been missing the mark. So I think it's important to kind of visit them right now because, you know, you've got like the cup head sculpt. That's kind of offish. Cyclotus is actually a little odd on his head sculpt. Little, but this yeah. one, there's like nothing wrong with that. It's just like, ooh, this is a good face. I mean, Very the cup face. one is accurate. It's not necessarily a it's not know, accurate. Look it's accurate it's to that one cup. picture that one time. Yeah, I'm yes, telling you, I'll yes. show you, I'll send you a picture where he's accurate. <laughs> that's what Blur's face was also terrible. Thanks, Rob. No, no, Lucas is right. There's one picture you could always find that's accurate that he can be like, look, it's accurate. And then yeah. he's still wrong. It's okay. Blur's so here face is. is just too skinny. Blur's face is kind of terrible, but oh, yeah. wow. So I do think it's important to note that these faces are good. And, you know, the thing with Scourge is like, this is a really good Scourge. Scourge is kind of underwhelming looking, but here he is. Yeah, they somehow managed to make this one look pretty intimidating. And I think it has to do yeah. with the way the backpack expands and the extra wings they put on. Yeah. The the blue wings to the side, like, five years ago, they just would have not had that. Like, it, it would have ended at the uh, – oh, let me show you. It would have ended at this piece, and this piece just wouldn't be included because it's yeah. an extra bit. And I'm glad it's not five years ago because adding this – Add that extra intimidation factor. Like he's, it makes him an evil right. vampire lord in addition right. to his fingernails. He does have fingernails. He also has two well, differently sculpted hands. I, I mean, his fingernails are great, them. too. I mean, I think that, again, that's another touch I don't think that we would have gotten before. No, I don't think so either. I mean, either. there's just, like, there's a ton of paint on there. Like, the, yeah. like, like his, his lower Christmas. arms are painted... The, you know, the fingernails, I mean, there's paint all over the um, those arms. Um, his legs and, like, knees are painted. So, I mean, it. Uh, there, there's a fair amount of, uh, of paint on this. And, like, I don't think that really you can say there's a lot wrong with it. Not really. Yeah, like I said, it's, no... it's a really good scourge. Yeah, it's it's the scourge that will make me say I will not need more scourges after this. It's kind of like, you know, when we got this, when we got the Cyclonus, right? Cyclonus is a really cool, fun design. It is super fun bubblegum grape color that is just like really fun to look at, really fun to play with. And like, I'm just super happy to have a Cyclonus because he's a neat looking guy. But Scourge is just kind of, you know, he's fine. He's kind of a dull fella. But this is a cool Scourge toy. <laughs> I don't know. I you know I think it's funny because I, I feel like that um, the Galvatron that we've seen pictures we haven't seen in hand or whatever, right? And it's fine, right? Like it's not amazing, but it's fine. But like we've gotten so many fantastic figures now in right. the Studio Series eighty six line that I just I feel like once you've seen some of these, you're like, oh, why couldn't that have been as good as this? I agree. I with really that. do think you're right. No, it, this sets a new bar. I think yeah, Galvatron's exactly. thumb is going to stick out pretty sorely with these two on a shelf. He's just not going to look as good as they do. Not bad enough where you'll be like, I have to replace him instantly, but he's still going to stand out. Because, like, I'm, I'm sure that someone is making an upgrade kit for both of these figures, for Scourge and Cyclonus, for something. I can't even imagine what, though, because these figures just don't need anything. I mean, Cyclonus has that nightstick gun. Uh, so I would imagine they yeah. need to break his gun for him. if Because, you, you know, this one came in the Skywarp pack, which is notoriously hard to get now. So that probably. I would also wouldn't mind a burden hardest to bear face. 
that's the, where he melts, Anna. Oh, okay, cool. Or Metroplex Eye, because he has that at one point. He's still. I, I would take the melty eye. face. I don't know episode names. I don't yeah. even saw it. Yeah, Burden Harvest to Bear. That, yeah, he, Scourge steals the Matrix and it destroys and his him. face so, melts, and his whole body melts. Yeah, <laughs> he transforms into a blob at one point. It's adorable. I mean, the one thing I'll say too about this figure is, is like just the way they did this, like. There's no real hollow gaps, like, you know, kind of the way that these, like, thighs yeah. are. Yeah, you show off the uh, the back of the thighs, because those are designed kind of interestingly. Yeah. Because those could just be those hollow parts, you know, where it sticks to the one piece to the other, but they included that piston-looking piece instead yeah. of just to right. fill out the gap. It's filler. So, so while yeah, technically it's... that thigh piece is hollow, it also has, you know, stuff inside it, which is, I think, great. It's a good good design choice right. there. Right. I used to, like I said, I just, like, if someone was to put up, with most of these figures, like, when they put up the um, the mod packs, the upgrade packs, I, I know exactly what parts are going to be upgraded. But for him, it's like, I don't know, someone's going to come up with something, but right. <laughs> I don't need it. I mean, I think the only complaint that you really could say is, is, like, with these extra little bits here, you know, they kind of just hang off. But, I mean, whatever, it's on the back of the figure. It's not that egregious yeah it's fine yeah are they supposed to go higher like lucas has them is that how they're supposed to go i don't know uh, that's how i, I like to display it so i have I mine like this off the bottom okay yeah yours are like mine where they're on the bottom i just like i guess you could flip them and put them up so. yeah like it that? doesn't matter yeah, that'll give him a better front display, as long as he can still stand up. Right. No, yeah, no, it's it's not a problem at all. But yeah, that's what I, okay. I think that that gives a, a better profile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I can see why you did that. Let me sit with that for a few minutes to see how I feel. Hmm. Yeah, oh, here we to. go. Ron has an interesting question in the chat. Is Scourge a more acceptable shell former than RC? You said shell, shell former? former? Shell former. Yes. Form of shell, shell shell former, not shell former. <laughs> Although that's, that's my question. It's so easy R to make RC those RC will be a fantastic shell former for Earthrise. Probably. I mean, yeah, or this Kingdom. one functions I mean, way Earthrise, better than Kingdom than RC yeah, does because RC this... takes off half for vehicle move. Scourge is at least all integrated together. Yeah, I mean, you know, the the robot of Scourge doesn't really make the spaceship it's really he wears his spaceship on his back but at the same time yeah you're right although the ultimate shell former unicron eh. i haven't transformed mine yet all of it all of the shell former is always going to be thunder blast but no it's a big convoy really yeah. Do you think that it makes it more ultimate that the that the shell breaks up into a thousand pieces of torture? Mm, I see your point. Yeah, because she's just like, pop, open, you're done. So, yeah. So, I mean, this looks like a thousand times better than the Titan. I mean, like, again, you know, there's some charm to the Titan's Return one, but, like, this is just so much That's better. the one where I actually did sweeps because I got the LG Sharktacons that came with the sweep heads. Mm. Whew. It's gonna be tough to let all those go, but I probably should. Let's say here's yeah, I think that's a that's a fun question for this guy that I think is gonna be because I've seen several people in like kind of the groups we hang in talking about how they're buying a bunch of these, you know, to make infinite sweeps. And I'm curious how many people are gonna be willing to army build a thirty dollar figure. Because army building a thirty dollar figure feels more painful than a twenty dollar figure by ten dollars each. I'll so, do it. Lucas will do it too. I mean now you're by talking... army build, are you just going for three? Or are you going for Probably like three. tons yeah. of them? Probably three, maybe four. You're okay, you're talking you're you're talking to the people that buy like upgrade kits for these things or that buy like Well yeah. Lucas is Mr. Flex buying twenty dollar upgrade kits for fifty dollar figures. I know. <laughs> I can't believe you got mocked in the groups for that. That was really funny. <laughs> that was ridiculous. A, he's obviously a CEO of a Fortune five hundred company with that kind of money. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. 
Yeah, but uh, so but yeah, yeah, I, mean, I would definitely, I would definitely army build this. I don't think. I, well, we'll see what the sweep looks like. I mean, when I heard when we got the rumor that there was a sweep coming, I canceled my army build order for scourges because if the sweeps are going to be different, then that's what I want. So we'll see. Right. Yeah. yeah I, no, I mean, I definitely, I, I don't personally plan on buying a bunch of scourges um, to army build it, but like if they do a sweep pack, I'll get that. Um, I don't know. I have my old versions of this guy that I was uh, going to put in the background and kind of be my army. Uh, that was my but... plan. My plan was to use the Generations and the G1 as my two sweeps. Right. Just so he has, like, the sad sweep and the, the little sweep. But I'm not, I'm not good at mixing. You guys know that. Oh, yeah. I love mixing. It's fun. But do you guys remember that year? I think it was 2009 when the Generations one came out. It also came out in the same wave as Cup. And that wave came out at the same time as BotCon that year, which had a Scourge and a Cup, and everyone was mad. <laughs> oh, the BotCon did it too? Yep. Yeah. It was like, it was very nearly the same time. As Bachheim was happening that summer. It was crazy. That's pretty funny. So the, 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 just that. Hasbro general line invalidated two Bachheim figures within a month. Yeah, well, last kind of thoughts about him. You know, he's good articulation. You know, nothing's really missing. He's got, he does have wrist, which is something I complain about all the time, is when figures don't have wrist. Wait, he doesn't have wrist. I thought he did. He does, okay. Mine was paint stock because they're painted. His hands are painted. And he does have the two different hands, which is a weird choice. We'll see that very often these days. Yeah. Yeah, he has two different hand sculpts, as Christian said. He has ankle tilt. He has wrist swivel. He has waist swivel. His waist swivel isn't really impeded, I don't think. Not really, no. His head's got okay movement, just a little bit. So he's, he's good articulation-wise. There's his handsies. They're different. Yep, this definitely wouldn't be a bad pickup. You won't regret it. Yeah, I would. The only thing that I would complain about with posing him is that the backpack is going to make some poses hard due to weight. But you know, if you if you're like me and you're kind of getting into stands, because I'm kind of getting into stands, because a lot of these characters are you know flying Decepticons, so it's fun to have them kind of up in the air a little bit. So you know, he does have a spot for a stand. In his crotch, like a lot of guys do. So you can definitely put him up on a stand and then he can take pretty much any pose he's going to. Yep. Sorry, no no controversy on tonight's show. I know, yeah. This we is, all we this all is... agree. It's... No, well, let's get back to the way, controversy. But... He's a freaking boat. See? Controversy. You think he's a bathtub, I think he's a boat. Lucas thinks he's a spaceship. There's your controversy. It's all we got. Correct in my assessment. <laughs> you want to hear some controversy? Show up for for Monday's show after after all the reveals. Oh yeah. It'll be the, I'm just the excited Luke's to hear squad Nick versus the world. Complain about having to buy new things. So. Oh my god. I'm excited to hear people argue that that arc is not fantastic looking. I don't think anyone has really said thing. anything negative about that. I feel like uh, the Gal- people Galatron- complain about it. Well, in several. okay, it's the internet. Yeah. People complain about everything, but um, I feel like the Galvatron is the more polarizing figure. Yeah, that I mean, that stuff. You've already heard me complain about the Galvatron extensively. Not really complain. It's more like just kind of reporting that I don't like it. I never intended to buy it anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm excited for him. These are just going to be the baby size um, helpers for my masterpiece size Galvatron. He's just going to have little friends. Although, if anyone out there needs a sovereign, uh, let me know. How much does that go for now? It seems like that's a fair. Yes. Yeah. He's, that... he's very expensive now. Yep. But if someone needs uh... one, I will sell it to them. Book club this week is R.I.D. 28 through 30. 
Yeah, exciting times. Come join us. We're expanding a little bit. We're getting new people recently, so we're always happy to take more new oh, people. Oh, nice. There you go. Ooh, that's great. And like Randall said, we'll probably goof up and talk about all the reveals in Book Club as well. Right. Nice. Sure. Just because we'll be excited about them. Like, I'll be excited to complain about the lack of anything exciting. Ha ha ha. It's going to be great. I'm super excited for tomorrow. Yeah, it'll be fine. And it will be yeah. on Monday. I'm excited to talk about it then, too. But can I, I mean, say, was... though, tonight's Tomorrow's... reveals were oh, a little was... disappointing since there weren't any. Yeah, we had reveals yesterday. Yes, I know. Everyone needs to calm down. But they could have done them. I know, I know. People get really feisty about the fact that reveals for other brands and Transformers only got a concert, which is actually kind of cool. It's amazing. <laughs> they did very well. I don't know. Yeah, the concert course. was better than like some. I don't know. The those panels were kind of rough. Better than hearing the legends people ramble forever. Yeah. I enjoyed listening to Taboo, but I was a big Black Eyed Peas fan growing up, so whatever. I I did. I liked getting to see the Sentinel, but it made me very sad because I was like, I was very on the fence for the Sentinel. I almost bought it like 80 times, but I just like, I don't have an X-Men collection. I just wanted the cool big robot thing, but I didn't get it. And then they showed it. It looks so good. See, but I feel like uh, the Sentinel, that would have been like the perfect thing to buy. Cause like all of these HasLab things are going way up in price. Oh yeah, and so, absolutely. And, and, and like that thing is actually like not so big that like you could actually ship it mm -hmm. for like an, a not horrible price like oh i know i should have got it Lucas. Don't, shit, you don't have to tell me you twice i should have got it but i would have kept it yeah. is the problem like there's no way i could have sold that thing i would have saw it it would have been like i got cool hands and it would have been mine forever it would have beat <laughs> it up by like two x-men toys oh <laughs> it could have destroyed my tiny little horrible wolverine and saber tubes there you go <laughs> there we go it could eat this tiny saber tubes x pants versus sentinel there we go. Oh, that would be so cool! Ah, that's not fair, if Christian. Only. You're a monster. <laughs> that would look so cool. I didn't make you study. not buy a symbol. Ah, I can have a little tiny Wolverine study on top of it because it's Gundam Pilot. Oh, that'd be so cool. You did get that board game though, right? Yes, I got Hero, Hero Quest, Quest or whatever. See, I never ended up buying it, so. I grew up with Hero Quest, so I had to get it. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know the thing. The thing that like kind of put me over was the fact that uh, they're charging for shipping. You had to pay for shipping. And so like for whatever reason, like I was like, this is annoying. So I just never got it. So I'm going to eBay, Rob. I've got to pay nine million dollars for a Sentinel. There you go. So all it's gonna right, be like well, nine hundred. Thank you to everyone in the chat tonight, Ron and Rob and Randall, Catherine. Appreciate it, guys. Oh, did I miss anyone? I feel like I missed someone. There were a couple people I didn't quite recognize as oh, well. Oh, Ryan earlier. Yep. So, yeah. Well, it was good to see you all, and thanks for being here. We're glad to tell you this yeah. toy is good. Good luck finding yep, it's it. It's good. I would buy it. Go find it. If you can find it, buy it. So. All right. Well, thanks, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye.